Hi, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Travis Patel with Internet Biz Masters. In today's video, I want to share with you a special method of using Google Alerts to help your, your website, help your business in many different ways. So what Google Alerts is, is a system where you can track and follow your favorite keywords or phrases um, that, that are being indexed every day on, on the web. So when you set up a Google Alert, what's going to happen is every time that uh, this keyword or this phrase or, or website has something indexed and Google finds it, they're going to send you an email at a specified time with all the results that have been indexed with that keyword. Now, why is this important, you're probably asking? There's lots of different reasons why. First off, you, you know, you need backlinks. You're going to need other sites pointing towards your site so you can get these search engine rankings. Setting up these Google Alerts really allows you to quickly and easily find perfect backlinks for your site because they're all going to be highly related to your niche. Not only that, but it allows you to keep an eye on your competition and, and you can stay one step ahead at all times. You'll always know where your competitors are backlinking and you can go ahead and backlink the same areas as well as uh, backlink a little bit more often so that your site is going to have those top search engine rankings. Now another great benefit of Google Alerts is that you can always have fresh uh, fresh ideas and content ready for your site. You know, this is great for blogs and authority websites. Did you always want to keep that content fresh? Because content is king. We all know that. So to keep those that that content, uh, those articles being posted to your site, and you can keep that traffic interested and that traffic flow coming. Now, in just a few minutes later in this video, I'm going to share with you a special content gathering method that you can set up using Google Alerts to have fresh new articles at will for, for your niche. So what you need to do now to set up a Google Alert, it's very simple. Uh, Google has set up a very simple system for you to use. Just go to www.google.com slash alerts. Now you're going to come to a page that looks very similar to this. And all you got to do is take your keyword that you would like to be alerted whenever it's indexed on the web. Throw it in the, the top form there. Now it's very important that you use quotation marks for this so that you only find the exact phrase or the exact uh, long tail keyword that you're looking for. In this example I'm showing you exercises for pregnant women. If I just did exercise for pregnant women with no quotations there'd be results coming for pregnant women, for exercises, the whole deal. So you want to definitely use quotations so you only find those results and you can beat that, that for that keyword that you're trying to get ranked. You will always know where to go backlink and find content. Now for the type, you can choose news, web, videos, or I just like to choose everything because I always like to keep on top of the content being posted in my niche. Uh, for how often, you can have it done every couple hours, uh, a week, a day. Um, I like to set it at the longest time so that every once a week I go through all the backlinks and all the alerts that are going through for my keywords and plan the week ahead for my backlink team or my content uh, creation team. Uh, as far as, you know, it gives you the place to deliver to. In this case, it's just one of my Gmail accounts. They're going to send me an email, as I had stated, once a week. So what this does is this right here. You're going to get uh, email once a week in that, in that scenario. Going to be sending me all the examples of websites that have used that keyword the past week. And this is very important. You always want to stay ahead again, stay ahead of the game, and always check out what the new topic is. You never know what a new trend in your niche is going to be. And if you catch it early here, you can really kind of help boost that traffic and and catch the attention of all that that trendy traffic that's coming. So I want to share with you real quick in this video a super awesome content gathering method. Uh, this is if you do any article marketing, this is going to be perfect for you because it's going to allow you to always have fresh content without having to do any work at all. Um, it's very, very awesome. So stick around just a second. Let me get over to showing you how to do the method and I'll be right back. All right, to do this, uh, this content gathering method, all you got to do is first go to Google Translator. Now you can simply go to Google, search Google Translator, and you'll see it's the will be the first result for you. 
head on over to this site and what you can do with this site is of course translate certain words so take your keywords that you would like to you know that your your niche is related to that your site kind of focuses on um, if in this instance it's much better to do maybe broad keywords and take this this English version of those keywords and translate it into another language you can do Spanish is a good one uh, Portuguese French German all these are very common languages that are it's probably gonna find the most content and the most uh, uh, the most articles and things like that related to it copy these translations and then head on over to Google Alerts. What you're going to do is set up a Google Alert in quotations, remember, for this uh, keyword, this translated keyword. Now, it's, it's it, why I want to use broad keywords in this situation is because you're going to find much less results, um, sometimes even one word keywords, anything that's going to be on topic to keep those that content going quickly you can you can really use this to find a lot of free articles to use on your website and things like that but anyways go to you know the sites that show up from your your results right here's an example where it's a Spanish article it looks like on search engine optimization uh, the keyword I was searching was uh, website traffic so that makes plenty of sense take this this article Go back to Google Translate, and what you're going to do is you're going to translate the the foreign language article into English. And what this does is give you a fresh piece of content for you to use. It might be a little um, not grammatically correct right now. All that takes is a little bit of editing. As you can see, if you read this article, it's it's about search engine optimization and website traffic. It would be perfect for a website talking about website traffic or internet marketing now after you take the few minutes just to go through this and edit it and make it plain English you're gonna wanna check and see if it's unique uh, the the article writer might have done both languages and you don't wanna be doing any plagiarism or anything like that so go to any copyright or plagiarism checker uh, plagiarism.net is a great one that I use just paste the the article the edited article into the box click check for plagiarism and within minutes they're gonna show you exactly what uh, is is out there if it's plagiarized if it's out there if it's fresh content in this case this is a great article that we can use to have fresh and new content right away so this this short and easy Google Alerts method to using the translations is an easy way to have content coming to your coming to you at all times without doing any work. This literally takes about three minutes to have a brand new article in your on your site, and you can do this for lots of keywords that are in your niche, and always have content ready to go. It can really take the stress off your off your shoulders, take the weight off your shoulders, and make your job easier. Now. This is one of the methods that I use in, to, you know, just to create great articles and great content, quick article uh, techniques that you need to be using if you're doing any article marketing at all. Which, if you really have any website, you probably have articles or text versions of content on your site. So this is an easy way to implement even more articles or maybe backlinking articles, anything of the sort. When you need content, this is a great way to do it. And like I said, this is one of the great methods that I use in my article marketing mayhem product. Now this product is ex a completely extensive guide on article marketing. I go through everything that article marketing offers. I show you a lot of great techniques, on, just like this past one, on how to get content and how to really use that content to make money. Um, there's been a lot of great things said about this uh, this product. And a lot of people have used it already to make some good money. Uh, as you, if you check out the link for Article Marketing Mayhem, you'll see how we were able to create almost four hundred dollars of profit in only four days using this a technique just like this, plus a few others, to have that Article Marketing campaign going at full steam right away. 
So if you'd like to check out Article Marketing Mayhem, please visit the link below and you will you'll be able to really take that that part of your your marketing and that part of your traffic game to the next level. Thank you so much for joining me today with Internet Bizmasters. My name is Travis Patel. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I look forward to hearing from you and bringing you more great content in the future.